We're gonna be talking today about a camera that I feel like is an extreme value even in 2022 despite it's somewhat still high price. And when it comes to, you know, premium compact cameras, there's really only one camera that I feel like I can recommend fully and be confident that it's going to do really well in the next three to four years. And that camera, you guys, is the Ricoh GR3, what a lot of people consider the king of street photography compact cameras. Even though it's a very small setup, it packs a very, very big punch. There's a full APS-C sensor in here. And in this episode, I wanna go over my five reasons why you should buy one in 2022. really is the perfect walk around camera. It's such a small little setup that you can slip it into your pocket, into any bag, any jacket pocket, especially now that it's winter. Um, and you can go out and just have a blast with all of the features built into this super tiny body. The camera body itself is smaller than your average smartphone with the exception that it is a thicky. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's a great vacation camera. It's a camera that you can slip into any pocket, any bag. Um, if you're going to parties, concerts, you know, whatever that may be, uh, the Ricoh GR3's form factor really will fit into different lifestyles. And if you are a street photographer, it's definitely a huge plus. So I recently sold my GR2 and I chose to keep the GR3. Uh, for a couple of different reasons we'll get into that here but i have the gr3 here pretty much just on a peak design strap and uh, usually this is how i like to carry it anyways i'll strap it over my shoulder and then just have it kind of ready to shoot uh, at all times it's a super small camera and i think it's great you know again just for street photography travel photography anything that you guys may want to do uh, but we're gonna head now into the ferry building make a couple of photos Now the second reason to buy this camera alone, in my opinion, is just the 28 millimeter focal length. Now on the front of the lens here, it says 18.3 millimeters. Obviously because it's an APS-C sensor, we're gonna multiply that, it ends up being roughly 28 millimeters. You know, the Ricoh GR3, has a 2.8 lens that's honestly really sharp amongst all of the different kind of like compact point and shoot cameras like the Fuji X100s. Ricoh GR3 in my opinion has one of the sharpest lenses. Now the lens on the GR3 is absolutely amazing. If you've ever had the GR2 or seen photographs from that, think of this new lens as a little bit more improved from that previous version. Colors are very, very nice. You also have some really, really nice sharp results in the centers and even on the sides when stopped down to like F8. But where I think this shines is in the focal length itself. Now the 28 millimeter focal length pretty much can be used for everything. Whether it's street photography, you know, just taking casual photographs of your lunch. There's a macro mode built into here so you can get actually decently close for it being a wide angle lens. Um, and you know, to be able to have a wide angle lens in a small compact camera like this, it's honestly really, really powerful. Now with that said, not everyone is going to like the 28 millimeter focal length. And if you like something a little bit more narrow, you can go with something like the Ricoh GR3X, which is essentially going to have, I believe it's like a 40 millimeter focal length, um, which is, you know, getting towards that mid telephoto range. You also have like the Fuji X100 cameras, but even then, I don't think they can match the GR3 for its size. So I'd highly recommend though, if you've never shot with a 28 millimeter focal length before, give the GR3 a shot. I think you'll be surprised at just how versatile this lens can be. Now the GR3 sports a 24 megapixel APS-C sensor. Now when you consider just how small this camera is, an APS-C sensor in a camera like this is insane. And I know I just said that twice, that sounded weird. Now I'm not a pixel peeper and so 24 megapixels for me is a lot already. You know, that's incredible resolution for having such a small, you know, compact body. Back then, you know, you wouldn't even be able to get 24 megapixels in your Canon DSLRs. 
now you're able to get that in such a small package. Um, and if you're doing just street photography, casual photography, concert photography, anything really that requires you to upload online, this has such a powerful sensor that it's going to be more than enough for all of that. The only way I can see this sensor struggling is if you're going to print something like poster size, something extremely, extremely big. I'm talking, you know, something like this big right here. And even then I still think it'll perform decently well with 24 megapixels. The GR3 really is, in my opinion, the best featured compact camera out on the market currently available. It has a 28 millimeter focal length lens that is extremely sharp, 24 megapixel sensor, full APS-C sensor inside of there. You also have things like IBIS, you have snap focus, you have a touch screen on the back, you also have built-in presets. You know, all of these little things, especially that touch screen on the back, you know, being able to adjust your focus on the fly with a simple little tap. Uh, with that said, you know, if you've ever shot with the GR2, this is a huge improvement from it um, in terms of some of the features that are built in. And you know, we can't forget as well just how quiet the shutter is on this camera. This camera is street photography gold and all of the features that you would want in a camera is built into this tiny little body that you can pretty much take anywhere. You can travel light, you can explore new places and you're gonna end up making much better photographs. Now perhaps my favorite feature is reason number five and that is the highlight weighted metering. Now with highlight weighted metering, it's going to allow you to achieve a look that is extremely popular amongst street photographers. Basically that look is your highlights are going to be saved and exposed, but your shadows are going to get completely underexposed resulting in extremely contrasty scene. Photographs that look like they are shot on slide film. Uh, and this look has been really popular amongst you know contemporary street photographers lately. And kind of the main problem with achieving this look was that you would need to adjust your exposure manually through either your exposure compensation or just adjusting one of your variables, aperture or shutter speed. But Rico was really, really clever and they included the highlight weighted metering mode, which automatically exposes for your highlights, making this camera a street photography beast. I walk around San Francisco sometimes just with the highlight weighted metering mode on and I'll just look for patches of light and then, you know, kind of wait for interesting subjects to just fish through the frame. I applaud Rico for including that feature in the GR3 and I, I don't understand why other camera manufacturers don't already have that in their cameras. It's, it's genius. This camera is a built-in flash away from being perfect. I mean, if they took the Ricoh GR2's flash and somehow stuck it on this body because it is a little bit shorter, I think this would be a perfect camera. But if you can look past that and just use an external, you know, flash on the hot shoe here up at the top, you're not going to have a problem with this thing, man. It is a beast. Again, if you're shooting street photography, it is gold. You know, everything that you would want in a camera is in such a small little package. And the fact that you're able to pick this up in 2022, hopefully for a lower price, I think they're still floating around between $600, $700. It'll be a camera that will last you for years um, and a camera that's going to bring you a lot of joy and hopefully much more productivity in your street photos. But there you have it. Those are my five reasons to buy the Ricoh GR3 in 2022. Now, I wanna turn the mic over to you guys and ask you, you know, are you gonna get one in 2022 or what are some of the features that um, you know stand out to you or what are some of the ones that you want to see in the GR3 leave those in the comment section down below I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say so thank you guys man for tuning into this episode as always it's been King James until next time Minolta gang in my opinion has one of the sharpest